This is a great story. It was like I stuck my finger into a light socket. It was so vibrantly real. My first thought about him is, this is the most ridiculous creature I've ever met in my entire life. He's been in the business for a very long time. He's very well educated. He's very bright. He's this funny combination of bored, kind of seen it all, and doesn't want to be left out by whatever might be new coming along the way. He's very narcissistic, and he's very arrogant, and he's not very bright, to be honest. But he's human. It is my kind of, you know, funny right now. It's like uh, very character-driven. He's a fascinating human being. He's as deep as it comes and as funny as it comes. Being funny is hard. Mm -hmm. Being funny is hard. This is funny. Everything else around it sucks. Yeah. That's funny. And so that's a pressure. Uh, because what he really wants to do is to be able to open up. He's seen everything, tasted everything. And instead of being jaded, he still has this amazing, eager desire to be delighted by life. It was this kind of universal appeal to people, I think. This is not my point of view. This is science. He's really my connection to life, you know, to marijuana, to women, to youth, to, you know, whatever new exciting thing he's doing. I don't want to be left behind. It's so boring to be, you know, proper and right. <laughs> just to be certain and wrong, or not even wrong, just to be certain, you know? Loved it. It's just really so it. rare that you meet somebody that you're endlessly fascinated by. And I am endlessly fascinated by him. Oh, no! We are all more similar than we're dissimilar. I'm a comedian! I'm a comedian! Make it your laugh! When you somehow allow yourself to feel your common humanity. It's, it's kind of a, a lovely thing.